Appearing before the National Dialogue Committee, Gedo Muigai argued that the opposition being a formidable force should be allowed to operate from parliament and its leaders accorded state security and distinct privileges enshrined in the constitution. Country, there are many Kenyans. He further stated that the leader of opposition has such high-level security clearance and should receive security briefings the same way the president is briefed. The truth is, in a democracy, the opposition is a government in waiting. And therefore, in fact, the opposition has shadow cabinet ministers. So they should be operating in parliament, uh, shadowing, shadowing the other cabinet uh, minister, asking them questions that are informed and that help to show that this party, at the le next election, they are ready. They are, they are ready to be the government. In his submissions, Mugai also recommended the scrapping off of some counties and constituencies to save the government from current high expenditure. He further stated that the two-thirds gender rule should be abolished and instead a 50-50 representation introduced. Uh, the two commissioners. Amnesty International on its end also called on the committee to investigate claims of enforced disappearances and the development of anti-torture regulations to protect human rights. Our country is ailing and we must provide the leadership at this time for the country to become respectful of diversity, to be anti-discriminatory in its nature, or we will continue to see violence perpetuated when we have a solid constitution. I have not talked about gender and I can see... The Registrar of Political Parties and Derito, while appearing before the same committee, proposed that the political parties fund be entrenched in the constitution, arguing that this will expand the democratic space for participation of marginalized groups in electoral processes. The reason why we are proposing the 0 0.3 uh, to be entrenched into the constitution uh, is because there has been several attempts by different people, activists, wanting to remove the, even the 0, point, the 0 0.3. They say it's too much. An idea which was seconded by the Gema Wado Association, who are advocating for a one-man, one-vote, one-shilling and extra constituencies in Mount Kenya region. If there are some areas that uh, historically have been left out, then we should be able to ask ourselves, we have an equalization fund so that we cater for those ones. But at the same time, those who are active and who are productive and those who are many are not left out. David Kagina, K24 TV.